What up, YouTube? It's your boy Savio back in again with another reaction video. Today, we're getting into Karma's Army Part 2. You guys really seem to enjoy the first one, probably because I was spazzing on everybody. And so, uh, you guys requested that I make videos on the rest of the series. So, Part 2 is going to be today. I hope not to get as worked up in this video as I was in the last video. I was kind of spazzing on everybody but they got me worked up bro i don't know how y'all deal with that all the time like people just say some dumb stuff like i and y'all know me i will snap back so we'll see how i do this video i'm a little sleepy today so hopefully that'll keep me more mellowed out in the meantime definitely make sure to subscribe like the video share it comment all that stuff go follow me on instagram twitter tumblr just kidding i don't have a tumblr but i used to you know because Tumblr was lit when you were 13. So without further ado, we're gonna get into Karma's Army Part 2, bars, and I'll see you guys on the other side. Hello armies, I'm back again to fill your army ego. First of all, this video is not intended to hate other groups in any ways. I made this video to show you that you shouldn't belittle a group or any human being just because they have a dream. Because you don't know what karma will do to you someday. And I made this video to tell haters that you're idiots. And that it would be way, way better if you spent that same time and energy on your own fan base and on your own act that you love instead of on someone else's fan base and on someone else's career and dreams. And excuse me for grammar mistakes. Because we be new I sucks in English. <laughs> now let's start. <gasps> Before Big Hit announced BTS Love Yourself Speak Yourself Tour, some people think BTS will never perform in a big stadium like Rossible. But after Big Hit announced BTS Stadium Tour, they started to doubt if BTS will ever sell out the show. Can they even fill the stadium? Are they sure they have a fan base here to sell out Wembley? Mayo. You are not that famous, Beach. Armpits really think BTS gonna sell out those Armpits. stadiums tomorrow. Looking forward to the downfall. LMFRO. Okay. All right. All right. Already. Yeah. We got to Yeah. Um. People are dumb. I don't get the mindset of a hater. Now, if you are sharing your genuine opinion and you're saying, I live in the UK and I don't know, because you don't. That's the thing. You don't know. You're just assuming. I don't know if BTS has a big enough fan base here to sell out a stadium like Wembley, which again is bananas in its own right. It's a hundred thousand people coming to see one group. That's insane. So if you if you are sharing your opinion, that is one thing. However, to turn around and say you are not that famous or call people armpits or can't wait for their downfall, like why? That's that's so evil and malicious. What? Why? What do, what do you get out of that? Because that will not instantly make your fan base bigger. That will not instantly make your group bigger. That's not how that works. For example, if Drake for some reason could not rap anymore, that does not all of a sudden make Lil Uzi Vert the new biggest rapper ever. That That's not how that works. Maybe. If you'll can't face the fact that BTS probably won't fill up Soldier Field or any other stadium in America. BB, we talking about 56k plus, but we will wait and see. Okay, let's see. On March 1st, BTS sold out Wembley a stadium with 90k capacity in just 90 minutes. And not long after that, <coughs> the tickets for Stade de France also sold out. Tickets for Ossobol, MetLife, and Soldier Field is also sold out in no time. In conclusion... BTS just sell out five stadium concerts in less than a day, resulting in an overall sellout over 300k seats in one day. <laughs> StubHub also announced that BTS Love Yourself World Tour is their highest selling tour of the year, and it is also their third biggest in history. And it's not over yet. A day after BTS sell out their tickets, BTS announced additional concert dates for sold out stadiums on Love Yourself Speak Yourself Tour. So BTS will have a two-day show in Wembley, Stade de France, Rossobol, MetLife, and Soldier Field. And on March 8th, BTS sold out their second date at Wembley Stadium, with approximately 180k tickets sold. In fact, the demand for second-day show is more than the first one. For their first-day show, 
the people who were waiting in the queue were 245k, and for their second day show, the people who were waiting in the queue were 271k, which is 30k more than the first... Okay, BTS does, like, war numbers, and, and stick with me here, because I know some of y'all gonna get the angry typing in the comment section, how could you? Just let me finish my point before you go disliking and making a video like this about me. Okay. So, BTS puts up insane numbers. Similarly to when you're in history and you're learning about the histories of wars that have been fought in countries. Now, I'm from a country where we do the war thing a lot. Like, a lot. So we have a lot of wars to learn about in history, but I'm assuming most of the people watching this can kind of get what I'm saying. When you're learning about a war and they tell you stats on the war, how many people fought in it, how many people died, what was the land area this war was fought over, they they quote these absolutely like unimaginable numbers at you and it's hard to comprehend just the amount of people who were impacted by and involved in this situation. And that is what BTS does. BTS puts up numbers that is hard to wrap your brain around. I've been a music lover since I was literally in the womb. That's a whole other story for another day. And I've been around big acts, big concerts, big numbers. And it's crazy. It's hard to imagine that seven boys from a label that was bankrupt could put up these numbers not even a decade into their career. That is insane, it really is. And they're not just doing it in their own country, they're doing it in places where they don't even speak the same language. In fact, most of these places, they don't speak Korean as a national language, official language, or any type of secondary tertiary language. So for them to be doing this is crazy. Day demand. And BTS not only sold out their second day show at Wembley, but also sold out at Stade de France and Rossabol. On March 11th, tickets for BTS show in Brazil also sold out in less than two hours, more precisely one hour 15 minutes, resulting in additional second day show in Allianz Park. Following their first day success, BTS second day show were sold out in just two hours. After sell out those stadiums, BTS broke the record of the most attended world tour for a Korean artist with over 1.8 million attendance with 50 shows. War numbers. BTS did that, and that's what I called legends. <laughs> Let's move to the next case. The most ridiculous thing I've ever heard is people assuming BTS popularity will going down just because of TXT, and they really have an earth to think that BTS comeback will be flop. We don't need a Lamea Media sheet to stay relevant. We all know their global comeback is gonna flop so hard, they're already losing hype. Actually many of you don't realize it, but it's a good thing TXT is getting a lot of attention. It means that a lot of armies are leaving BTS for TXT, which further means that BTS's fame and success is going downhill. Okay, hold on. I, I read the tweet before the little robot could finish it. I, maybe I should speed this video up. I don't know. But I read the tweet and then I had to reread it just because it didn't make sense to me. One, before we get into that, why are all of these accounts having female idols on their their icons or profile pictures? I don't know. I don't really Twitter that well, so I I don't know what they're called on Twitter, but like the little profile picture. They're all female idols. Why are female idols beefing with BTS fans? Like that don't make no sense. Y'all not even really in the same lane anyway. At least in the last video with the group that shall not be named, their fans at least could some way kind of think we're directly competing with BTS. Y'all not. Like, I don't, I don't get it I, at all. Anyway, back to this tweet, which is ridiculous. Um, you can like more than one group, honey. That doesn't make sense, especially groups who get along with each other that are on the same label that that just it doesn't make sense. like I shouldn't have to explain this to you you should know this already especially being a K-pop fan like there are all types of people y'all what do y'all call them multi multi stands is that what y'all call them multi multi something I think it's multi stands but I may have just pull that out of my butt anyway the point is you can like multiple groups I like BTS a whole lot BTS is not the only group I like amazing right i know you should try it sometimes 
Maybe, maybe it gets some of the hate out your spirit. It's just the beginning. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm sorry, but even Recording Academy said BTS are unlikely to slow down anytime soon. And I have... Y'all know how I feel about the Grammys with BTS. And if you don't, go watch my last video. That's all I'm gonna say. That, that's all I'm gonna say. That's it. We want more than tweets, okay? Thank you. Have to agree with that statement. Because BTS pre-order sale for their new album is rapidly increasing. In just 24 hours, Map of the Soul Persona reached 56k pre-orders on K-Town for you. Meanwhile, Love Yourself Tear only reached 20k. And Love Yourself Answer only reached 27k pre-orders in the span of 24 hours on K-Town for you. It means Persona pre-order is almost twice as much as Answer pre-order, and it's from K-Town for you only. Not long after Big Hit opened the pre-order, Persona immediately ranked number one on Cinera, and also rank one on Amazon. Meanwhile there's a cuter pre-order Persona on Aladdin, because there's so many people who want to purchase at the same time. So, um... Has anyone ever thought that maybe, just maybe, when you, you hate on something, on a group, on a person, on, on anything, that the people who are in your immediate circle, so say your followers, your friends, family, whatever, they might get curious about what it is that you hate so passionately, so vehemently, and they might then go check that thing out. And they might disagree with you and because, you know, they're not hating bastards and they will then become a fan of the thing that you hate that they wouldn't have even known about if you weren't doing free promo by hating on this thing so passionately and so often. Has that ever crossed anybody's mind? Again, here in the States where we are way too celebrity obsessed, we have a phrase, no PR is bad PR. And PR is public relations. And basically what that phrase means is if you're talking about me, you are helping me. So like the people who, who say racist stuff or, or evil stuff in comment sections, all they're doing is helping that video do better because there's more engagement on that video. You're telling YouTube or Facebook or Vimeo or whatever you're on. Hey, people are really you know passionate about this video. Show it to more people. Same thing happens with groups, with people. When you say, BTS is evil, I hate them, they suck, they're never gonna do this, blah, 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 blah. You're just giving them free promo. You keep saying that they're getting less popular. They can't get less popular because you won't ever stop talking about them. Duh! Even buying an album is like ticketing now, ha, 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 ha. Also until March 16th, Chinese Army's pre-order reached 278k copies, which consist of pre-orders from faint sites, online shops, and individual orders. And Beidou Jungkook Bar is the first fan base to reach 50k album pre-orders in less than 4 days. For the latest update, Persona is currently number 1 bestseller on Amazon US, number 1 on Amazon Canada, number 4 on Amazon UK and number one bestseller on K-Town for you with approximately 121k copies. And not only excellent pre-order sales, BTS also reportedly will be the musical guest on SNL on April 13th. This will be their worldwide comeback with the global stage, to reveal new track performance for the first time on SNL. We can say this is an upgrade from the last time, <coughs> when BTS made a comeback on BBM as this comeback also gained so many attention from Western media. They all collectively promoting BTS like there is no tomorrow. Ha 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 ha. So, BTS comeback is gonna flop, ha. Huh? Well, we are flop to flop, mayo. No one doing it like BTS indeed. I like this picture a whole lot. Like all of them just chilling. I've seen this picture before, not with the crowns. Maybe they added that for this video. But it's just like a super swaggy picture. All of them just look like mafia bosses. Almost. The whole American companies promoting all their stuff like crazy, I appreciate. I'm not going to say that that is clout jumping and they're trying to ride BTS's wave and get like a lot of retweets and, and you know, just a lot of engagement by mentioning BTS, which it, it that's probably what it is. But I, I will say that at the very least, acknowledgement is good. 
But I didn't stop this video to say that. I stopped this video to say that they look badass. So, yeah. <gasps> BTS can't even get a pack. Can BTS stands get a job? What you are doing isn't reviving your fave's dad career. Go stream their songs that man even got a pack. Your a pass will just die right trying. But they will never come near what this other group has achieved. So sleep and take some growth vitamins. First of all, strong power thank you for encouraging our Mr. Stream. What a supportive queen. Clap, 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 clap. Clap, 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 clap. What's a pack and why should I care? Like, really, I, I'm not even being sarcastic or, or aggressive. Or This was supposed to be my chill video and I'm in no way chill. But, yeah, yeah it is what it is. What is a pack? Like, I, I, I generally want to know because they're acting like that's a big deal, which is funny because again, in my last video, I talked, well, in my last Karma's Army video, I talked about them always moving the goalpost and how every time they say BTS can't do something or ARMY can't do something and then they do it, then, oh, it's a new thing that you can't do, which is dumb because like, didn't you learn from the last 20 times? But new goalpost, what is a pack? Why should I care? Anyways, just a day after, BTS finally achieves their first step of perfect all kill with fake love. Those hate comments didn't age well, and Karma is indeed an army. <gasps> Do you remember Pyeongchang Olympic? At first we thought BTS were not invited to that event, and some people were clowning BTS because of it, but it turns out that BTS were actually invited by the executive director Song Sung Hwan. They wanted to bring BTS to the Olympic closing, and they tried to cast BTS since 2017 but was unable to enter the possibility of BTS overseas schedule. And after that Jin suddenly upload a video of him chilling with some chickens at a farm, which means BTS didn't have an overseas schedule at that time, and other fandoms were mad about it, they said BTS were lazy and so on. But then again, BTS couldn't perform on the Olympic, because of the possibility of overseas schedule a possibility, so it wasn't a confirmed schedule in the first place, and after the whole thing about the Olympic, some people who'd still salty were so sure that BTS wouldn't get any award at KMA. Since today most armies are celebrate the Karma is army for that Olympic news. Tomorrow our fandom can celebrate and drag BTS army down for not getting D sang at Korean Grammy KMA. Have fun tomorrow. Well, stay pressed because BTS actually win musician of the year at KMA 2018. This is the first time. People really don't see how pathetic being a hater is, huh? Like they they don't they don't get like how sad saying stuff like that is and doing stuff like that. Like you look mad pathetic when you are like, "Oh yeah, you guys are actually having a good day today because you guys got good news. But tomorrow, we're going to hate on you cuz you aren't going to succeed." What like why? Why? Why are you so passionate about it? what? What did BTS do to you? Did Jin kick you or something? Did he make a did, did he make a dad joke that upset you? Is that what it was? Sh Sugar Mean mugged you and you felt some type of way. You were trying to get an autograph and he just walked by you, huh? That's what happened. Because they must have done something to you personally for you to feel so passionately. I don't know anybody personally that I hate this much. Why? Why do y'all care so much? I don't get it. I'm for K-pop idol to win such a award. Not only that, in February 26, 2019, BTS got Musician of the Year award for the second time, and they also got Song of the Year award and Best Pop Song award at KMA 2019. I'm not saying that BTS just made history, that but that's exactly what I'm saying. Ha 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 ha. If they are so great, why does not the president send celebration to them? It's just a political offense. They said they are already worldwide, but why haven't the Korean president acknowledged them? The difference between nations pick and social artists are too much. Nations pick based on talents and acknowledged by their own country, while social artists, based on most retweets on Twitter, because irrelevant in their own country. Maybe they forgot that the- What? 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 Again, I'm not Korean. I have never been to Korea. I hope to one day change that. So, again, I'm coming from my very American perspective. But what? Why do you need the president to acknowledge you? Why should the president acknowledge a music artist? Shouldn't they be doing, I don't know, political things? Is that like an award? Is, it, is there an official award that the president gives out to music artists? If so, why? Like, I don't know why 
this is now a political issue. Maybe it's like sports, because sports in the United States, when you win a championship, you get invited to the White House, which is the building in which our president resides and works out of, so on and so forth. And it's it's a big honor, depending on who the president is. In some cases, this has happened quite a lot recently, the sports organization team, whatever, can turn down going to the White House to meet the president. You don't even really get anything. I don't think you get like a certificate and a like a dinner banquet with the president and some photos. So maybe maybe that's what it is. But regardless, I don't see why that is a like that they, they were treating that as if that was an award. So maybe maybe I'm going off and this actually is an official award in Korea, but if it's not, then why are you bringing political issues into music? Or more specifically, into fan wars? That doesn't make sense. The GP was upset with that UN speech because it came off as them promoting their music. First of all, it's so unnecessary to bring up politics into fandom war. Second of all, it's so childish of them to discredit in BTS and especially Namjoon for his UN speech. It was a really important speech, and even if Namjoon talking about their music, it is because it was relevant for the topic. And actually, UN speech <coughs> by BTS is RM used as part of school curriculum in various countries. Wow. The response from Korean Net is also really positive. They are fascinated at Namjoon's speech, they feel proud, and they really appreciate how diverse BTS are. And as a gift of their UN speech, BTS we We're not just going to let that comment slide by that was talking about uh, June's parents' shoulders. That's weird, dog. That's, that's weird. Received custom watches from President of South Korea. The watches have the President's signature inside the face. And an inscription on the back reads putting people first. Considered to be the President's philosophy. President Moon Jae and also congratulate BTS for topping Billboard 200 chart with Love Yourself Tear. He appreciate the sincerity of BTS's dance and singing. He also appreciate them for their melody and lyrics which transcend regional borders, language, culture, and institutions. He also said that BTS will be remembered for a long time. So BTS is actually well appreciated by the president, but in October 10, 2018, a petition demanding for BTS disbandment was filled to the Blue House. Over 3K Koreans have signed for that petition. And apparently it was because of the issue about BTS military service extension which isn't true at all. BTS were just an ob- Okay, so I'm not gonna get too deep into the military issue because some people got really upset about it when I like just asked about it before. So I didn't know it was that sensitive of a topic. But what I was told about it by some people is that being given exemption is not a new thing. It does happen, and in some cases it happens with athletes who, I think they said participate in the Olympics or, or maybe the World Cup. I don't know, something like that. Again, what does that have to do with BTS disbanding? Why is this a political issue? This seems... Like a very, very cheap ploy to try to to get them to break up because you dislike them, which is petty. Object of South Korean political for military extension debate. BTS themselves said they will definitely enlist for military service to clear the rumors. And in October 14th, which is just four days after that petition, BTS attend Korea France companionship <coughs> concert in Paris. President Moon also attend the event and they meet at that place. BTS also extended their contract with Big Hit for seven more years in October 17th. They basically showing those people that a petition couldn't stop them from reaching their dreams and continue to do what they love. The petition even seems like a joke after BTS awarded Order of Cultural Merit by Korean government in October 25th. They become the youngest recipients for the award. And recently, BTS were added into South Korean national anthem. Damn. All of those things proves that BTS is indeed well respected, well appreciated. And they are indeed national treasure in South Korea. <gasps> That's it for today's episode. And please remember that we shouldn't underestimating any other group or fandom. We don't need to do the same thing as they do. And the comeback is really near. There will be so many people who will discrediting BTS and armies, but just ignore.
and we will prove them wrong when the time comes, because Karma is army, and she loves BTS. Thank you for watching, and I'm sorry if I offended anyone. I'm not. Love yourself. Love myself. Peace. Okay, so I said I was gonna try not to spaz that video and spent the entire video spazzing. Those videos are cool. I like when haters get shut down. They're kind of like the videos where you watch like bullies get what they deserve, like that. those kind of compilations. That person is also like super sweet and try not to offend anybody. Clearly, I'm a lot more combative than this person. <laughs> um, I don't care. If you're gonna be a hater and, and try to prey on someone else's downfall, then you open up the right to someone calling you an idiot, someone yelling at you. And besides, these people clearly hate BTS, or maybe they love them, that's why they talk about them so much. I don't know, but they probably won't see this video. In the event that you do, I mean, by all means, leave a hate comment. I like some, I enjoy them. Like I said, it only helps the channel out. So, if you would like to help the channel out, leave a hate or non-hate comment. Either way, your choice. That That is your free right as a human being. And we'll see you next time, guys. So, stay kind, stay true, stay beautiful. Have a great day. Peace, guys.